The scoring matrix, it defines whether you win in Sarah or whether you do the opposite of win in Sarah, aka losing, which is bad. In the scoring matrix, you've got all your shit. You've got your general shit, your defending shit, your possession shit, your passing shit, and your attacking shit. So much shit. But what does all of this shit mean? Well, you're not a fucking idiot, are you? You know what an accurate pass is, you know what a yellow card is, and you know what a triple triple is. Triple triple. A triple triple is made up of three individual actions, a tackle one, net was one, and an interception three times in a single match. Wow, that's crazy. Now, I don't know how many entities or people make so rare content out there in the uh, so rare sphere, but let's just say there's about 30 content creators, right? I think if you got all of these cunts, myself included, to do an IQ test and extrapolated that data, I would easily be in the bottom five for the most stupid content creators out there. Probably bottom three, uh, an easy relegation fodder. I mean, I I'm shit, especially when it comes to so rare. Obviously, you don't watch my so rare content from my incredible intellect. No, no, no. You watch it because I encapsulate the aura of the three H's. Handsome, hilarious, and handsome times two. So yeah, I was just setting the scene for you all today that I really am an absolute idiot of a Sora manager and um, I can't even remember what I was making a video about. Um, scoring matrix. So Sora have changed it and you all know what the Sora community is like. Obviously everyone took the time to review these changes before making an opinion. The changes weren't met with widespread anger or anything and the Discord was totally calm and collected about it. That was sarcasm by the way everyone. People in the Discord went fucking nuts. Negative actions now stack, yeah, makes sense, you play shit, then you play shit, you don't deserve a good score, but a much bigger and more important adjustment was to goalkeepers. Sora are now awarding points for accurate passes and successful final third passes, as well as an increase in points for big goalkeeping actions, and then a three point penalisation for every conceded goal. And my first thought was, uh, yeah, fucking great changes. I even went on the Sora Discord and said, yeah, strong update for goalkeepers here, and uh, this is where apparently I'm a fucking idiot and don't understand Sora, because everyone else basically told me that these changes were shit, and that I was wrong. Like, I've reviewed it and no. I think you're fucking wrong, piece of shit. You can't convince me this isn't a great update for goalkeepers. You have to sit back and ask yourself, what is a goalkeeper's main job? And it's to keep the ball from going in the goal. I mean, it's in the name for fuck's sake. Now I get the argument here, all a keeper has to do now is concede one goal and it basically fucks the score quite a lot. They lose 28 points from losing the clean sheet and conceding a goal, which is uh, a big point gap, of course it is. But at the end of the day, they weren't supposed to let the ball go in the goal, were they? And if this goalkeeper is really as sick as everyone makes him out to be, then he can make up for that shit with the increased all-around score he's going to get for his saves and passing. So like, yeah, you can't forget what a goalkeeper's main job on the football pitch is. Now, people are saying the gap between the elite goalkeepers and the slightly less elite goalkeepers, the shitters, as we say, will widen. And yeah, I agree. It's true. Abdul Nuruddin's last five after the Matrix update, for instance, would have dropped from a 29 to an 18. But like, he's shit in a shit team. What do you expect? I think people are mostly upset because this hurts those threshold grinding teams while the Wells or richer players with elite goalkeepers will more largely be unaffected. And I get it, I'm a big advocate for the fuck Blackpool movement within Sora, but at the end of the day, the scoring for me has to more realistically reflect real life representation of players. You want players like your Allisons and Courtois being rewarded higher than your Nuradines, for instance. They are simply better goalkeepers and the scoring should reflect that. Oh, but Roy Olivi, what if my goalkeeper makes 9 saves out of 10 in a 1-0 loss and Allison keeps a clean sheet and only makes 1 save? You're goalkeeper did not keep a clean sheet and as I've mentioned before his main job is to keep clean sheets fucking get over it he kept a clean sheet all right fuck you fuck I'm coming off as such an asshole right now but uh <laughs> I am an asshole so there you go and as I said this is only my opinion I'm in the minority here I know that and uh, not only am I an asshole I'm also a self-proclaimed idiot, so I could be completely fucking wrong in my thought process here. I just think long term this is a good update for goalkeepers that awards the better goalkeepers in real life more as it should. Yeah, I think I've made my point. Maybe. I don't know. I mean, honestly, that was my main takeaway from the Matrix update was regarding goalkeepers. I barely give a fuck about anything else, but let's have a look. They fucking brutalized centre-backs and slightly buff wing-backs. Yeah, had to be done. Bridging that gap between centre-backs and full-backs, especially on the lower tier players, was needed. And these changes of reducing the possession loss penalty and accurate passing bonuses will only serve to help full-backs. So yeah, good stuff there. Again, people here are mostly kicking off about that 2-4 to four point increase in conceding a goal, which, yeah, is a madness if your centre-back concedes a shit ton of goals. But again, I think the majority are upset about this because the majority go for those thresholds and this especially hurts the lower tier defenders who slots in to those threshold teams but like if your defender concedes a shit ton of goals they deserve to be penalized no matter how shit of a team they play in they should probably 
get good at football? Mm. This even has a perhaps intended effect on stacking. Imagine you stack a keeper, defender, and let's say your extra slots as a defender also, all for the same club. The second you concede a goal on a match, you've instantly lost 56 points when you factor in the goal conceded penalties as well as the lost clean sheets, which is uh, kind of a madness. So it definitely takes the sting out of stacks a bit, which yeah, I'm all for. A great consequence of the defensive matrix update, whether it was intended that way or not. So yeah, some top shit there, I reckon. Although I could be wrong in thinking this as uh, in case I haven't mentioned, um, I'm, I'm, I'm stupid. I'm not smart. And then Sora have slightly changed some metrics on midfielders and forwards. Yeah, whatever. Can't see it affecting too much there. So cool. Let's trust the team on those and run with it. And uh, yeah, that's it. My main takeaway from this shit is that I like the update. But I can see why people are upset. I've said it a few times, but this update looks like it most negatively impacts those threshold grinding teams, making it harder to hit that second threshold as consistently before, perhaps. And you know, maybe the timing of this matrix change is a bit suspect, happening around the same time commons get removed from Gas 4, but they have to make these changes at some point in the calendar year, and at the end of the day, Sarah is a business. They're not here just to make it mindlessly easy for people to win the threshold of Ferrum each week, and managers who specifically grind the thresholds but don't do much else in Sarah are probably their least favourite consumer on the product. It's, you know, just a fact even though I guessed, so maybe it's not a fact, a guesstimation, a guest factimation, shut up. Shut your mouth. You know, those Ethereum grinding managers are probably less likely to buy new cards on the auction market and put the Ethereum they win back into the Sera ecosystem, so the Sera team are obviously not going to make it easy or cater towards those thresholds being hit, but uh, hey, that's just my opinion, and if you don't like it, well, uh, you can go fuck yourself. <laughs>